Good day, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm happy you're doing perfectly well and okay. So, without a wasting much of your time, I'll be showing you exactly how you can fix the issue of your uh, PlayStation controller not working on your on your PC. I mean, not working with your uh, PlayStation uh, Plus. So, uh, it might be the Dual Shock 4 or the Dual Sense, I mean, or even Dual Shock 3, but they are not working. That's an issue with uh, the PlayStation. So, I'll be showing you exactly how we or we have, we we can fix that uh, issue. So uh, let me show you exactly what uh, you need to do. So as you can see, my my pad is currently connected to to my PC, but it's working with uh, Steam and every other games. But it's not working with uh, with PlayStation. That's an issue for them. I Means it's it's not fair. You know, it's supposed to work. You know, PlayStation to PlayStation. So anyway, as you can see, uh, if you take a look at this, uh, you see no no connection. So that will show you exactly how you can resolve uh, this issue. So the first thing that you want to do, let's go straight to our browser. Mine's already open. As you can see, I have less view and uh, uh, less uh, um, subscribers. So please, if you if you like this video, please, um, no one can beg me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You no, know, to help me boost my channel. So let's open uh, a browser. So you go to www. Um, dot r o e w a x d. dot com. So you just click on enter. Now this is the, the home page of the app that we are about to download. So note, note, it's not free, but uh, believe me, it's worth the money. And you even have seven days of trial. So you can download this app and try it for seven days. If you like it, you can upgrade with just seven uh, arrow. But if you don't like it, you can also delete the app. So I don't let me. Uh, I'm trying currently trying with uh, with the free um, seven days trial. So just click on download. I already have the app. I already have the app it's, and it's hundred percent safe. No need, no, you, no, you don't need to be scared of malware or virus. I also have issues with uh, malware and uh, other viruses. That's why I am actually using this particular app. There are other YouTube channels that you can get to see um, on how you can resolve this issue. But you need to download up to four to five uh, apps just to make it work. But this app downloading just one reliable app to make it work because C Sierra. I me, mean, I don't think that should be an issue for you. So uh, you need to open the the uh, uh, um, uh, the app which I already have it. So I just if you already have it. Um, just click OK and uh, make sure you pass through the normal uh, uh, installation uh, uh, procedure. And uh, you'll be required to turn off uh, me to restart your PC for it to install. So I don't think uh, that should be an issue because I already have it and believe me, it's working very well. So with that being said, after you're done with the installation, everything, which is hundred percent safe, so um you go straight to the app. So this is how the app look like. Let me drag it here. So this is the app. It's like a uh, the flash symbol. So uh, let's open the the app. So note, like I said earlier. So you just know if you can see it now. I have the color on uh, the color of my uh, controller has changed. Because the app has automatically detects that uh, uh, my uh, controller is connected to to my PC, so that's why you need to connect your controller first before opening the app. So if you check at the bottom here, you see my my controller, which is a uh, I have a my Dual Sense controller. I also have keyboard. So this is the Dual Sense uh, controller. So all we need to do right now, since we we want to um uh uh, uh since we are focused on the um on the Dual sense controller. Let's click on this dual sense controller at the bottom. So if, we, if you click on it, you will see your your dual sense controller on the screen, just as you can see right now. So you we see vibrate. I can make it vibrate. So that's to show that uh, uh, the app has uh, fully recognized your your controller. So the next thing let's um the, the next thing to do you need to go to the top at the uh, left hand side. You see add game profile click on add game profile so let's just call it a, a ps let's just call it a ps a controller ps 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 controller so you click on add so this will pop up so uh, later on you see this a uh, little uh, symbol at the, at the bottom of the pad like a magic stick so you click on it 
So for clicking on it, you will see a pop up at the um, uh, right hand side. So go down to uh, Visual DS4. Visual DS4. So you click on that. So now you see all these configurations. Believe me, you um, don't mess with it. Just leave it where it is. So you see all this, all this configuration. That's the norm, your normal configuration for your uh, for your um, uh, uh, controller. This controller. So uh, if you want to leave it this way, you can leave it this way. So as for me, I I I prefer it this way. So now, uh, if you see all this configuration, don't do anything. Go to the uh, left button. You see apply to slot one. So you click on that. So a new page will pop up which says uh, 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 apply as it apply as it so you click on on that so technically we are fully connected to um uh, a dual shock for so now let me show let me show you the difference so you can close it this uh, you can close the app if you want to close it it doesn't really matter besides you get to see it at the uh, bottom which is uh this particular place here so don't make, let's go let's open up our playstation plus so as you can see i now have a controller so i'm currently using my controller not my mouse so let me show you so it's working perfectly it's working perfectly uh let me go down okay let me go to uh let me open a game so you you can see Yeah, let me use my mouse to to start it up so as you can see i'm fully connected to my uh my my, my dual sense controller and it's working perfectly well so i i, I think it's have been easier if places should just make it like you connect with bluetooth and uh, just start playing so this is why i, I don't like playstation on I, on iphone they just want to make life difficult for us so um, let this thing start and let me show you exactly that this is really functioning so with your seven arrow you just have a good connection Sorry about that. I I mute the audio so I can you can hear me very well and not the game. So let me show you. So it's going downwards, going upwards. Let me start it up. Because the, there are so many games that you need the PlayStation Pad the controller to play. Xbox Pad. Um, there are some functions uh, that uh, the Xbox Pad don't have. Just as you can see. So you see it working perfectly well. You see it's working perfectly well. So because you need this particular one to skip so many videos to pass this particular stage. So without this, you can't get through this uh, this stage. So that's why you need the, the shark uh, 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 the uh, dua uh, shark four pad or controller to play. So you can see it's working perfectly. So uh, this is the problem, and this is why uh, you need uh, the PlayStation controller to play PlayStation Plus on your PC. So let me go forward so it's working perfectly well so as you can see i can do everything with my my controller it's working very well it's working so hopefully my video is helpful to you so that that's that um uh, let me close it and then go back to okay uh if you uh, want to upgrade you can also upgrade in the app hopefully my video is helpful to you i'm not asking i'm begging please and please if my video is helpful to you i sincerely no want you to subscribe to my channel i'm not asking i'm begging please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, give me a thumbs up so guys thanks for watching and say bless i will see you in the next video peace out for now